Reynolds, Diana Portland Howard Unit Day on Memorial Day. I hope you're having a good time. Um, I wanted to give you an update on my book. I'm on Chapter 4, going into Chapter 5, and um, I'm just going to read you a page of it so you can um, see where I'm at. And um, from time to time, I'll come back on YouTube for my book and uh, read a page or so. Even though I haven't done any um, cooking right now, I probably will do something next week. All right, so here we go. This is, um, I'm going on chapter five. This is a part of chapter three. So let me read you like a page of it. Okay, here we go. Um, now the orbs are traveling to, um, well, they're traveling to Antarctica right now they're in space. The orbs are traveling in space with no problems yet. They are getting good time in space with verification of the time to arrive on Earth if all goes well. Of course, if the demons decide to try and stop this mission, who knows when they will arrive on Earth if this is all at possible at all. God is telling the Tribune on Zelpar, help is on the way. The angel orbs have launched today and will arrive at the Purgatorian's destination in about two days. Everyone in the orbs are happy to hear this and await the angels. Angel orbs, as the other angel orbs were lost in the black hole previously. The Purgatorians have returned to their intubation chambers for some needed rest if there is a battle with the demons. They will need all that rest they can achieve. Food and drink are being being prepared for them by the humanoids, which are the robots, to help them get the energy they need for battle. Fish, chicken, and a variety of vegetables are being thawed and cooked for their meals when they awake from the intubation chambers. Visits, I'm sorry, vital, vital, vitals, vitals, sorry, vitals of fresh water are also ready for the purgatorians when they awake. Their souls are being enhanced by God to achieve their mission. Remember, God is telling them hope is on the way. The angel orbs have now arrived in space near the Purgatorians. They are now flying adjacent to the Purgatorians, guarding their every move in space. No sign of any demon mutants are seen. This has been conveyed to the Tribune on Zelpar and all is well. Of course, the humanoids are checking their instruments to make sure that orbs are not near any black holes. This would be death for the orbs if they get into a black hole as there is no way out. The orbs are now traveling near the demon planet of Kelp Kepler 452b. Sorry, Kepler 452b. They will pass by the planet in approximately two more days warp time. The intubation chambers are open and all the purgatorians and the orbs are ready for intergalactic war if the demons try to stop them from getting to Earth. The humanoids are instructed to use deadly force to eliminate the demons as teleportation cannot be stopped. The force fields are activated by the humanoids and the purgatorians checking and rechecking all instruments in the orbs. The holy water guns are all geared up and testing numerous times for any errors. The Tribune wants the Purgatorians to capture one or more demons and put them in the glycogenic unit to be studied once back in Zelpar. Okay, now, uh, still all is well in space, traveling warp speed to Earth. No demons are seen and no problems have arisen in space. The humanoids are still monitoring for any black holes near the orbs. The 20 angel orbs have also arrived and are traveling with the Purgatorian orbs for protection. Suddenly, three demons have been detected in space near the orbs, with swords and spears with demonic powers near the orbs are detected. Uh-oh. The alarms are going off in the orbs, indicating severe danger to the Purgatorians. Lance, Nico, and Excelsius are geared up for battle. 
They're in the mother orb in front of the other orb. The fourth fields are all ready and activated. If the demons get through the fourth field, the angel orbs will take over and kill them. One more paragraph. War demons are traveling near the orbs as detected by the instrumentation panels. The Tribune has been notified that a battle will commence immediately. Luther has been detected near the orbs and the angels are preparing for battle. The archangels are ready for the wicked demons to be eliminated. The sword welding angels are now in space looking for the demons and Luther. The angels will slice in half the demons by angelic blades. God told the angels not to destroy the demons, but to put them in the abyss, which will be a torture for the demons and their second death if they do not return to their planet immediately. The abyss has, has a lake of fire there where the demons will live in the fire forever if they continue to try and destroy the mission to Earth. Yes, the demons are, yet the demons are not backing up or returning to the planet of Kilpar till the battle continues. The Tribune is now notified of the demons' decision to continue the battle and stop the mission to Earth. Prayers on Zelpar are now continuing into the morning hours to ask God for protection and the angels and archangels achieve in protecting love in me protecting the Purgatorians from Luther and the demons. Everyone on Zelpur is frightened for their family members in the orbs. They are worried about that the mission will be destroyed by Luther and the demons. Now also the, the mutants on the planet of Sharon are also prepared to battle once the orbs reach their planet. The planet is 12,200 miles from Earth and only one day at warp speed to arrive on Earth. These mutant demons are very strong and will try to teleport into the orbs. Now the Purgatorians and angels have two battles to win. God has made them strong enough along with the angels to win all battles against the demons. They must believe in the hearts and minds that, that this can be achieved. All right, that's a little bit of the uh, chapter three. Now, um, at the end, I'm doing chapter four now, going into chapter five, and at that particular time, going to chapter five, um, the Purgatorians are in New York City. They're in New York City, and uh, what they're doing is um, they're um, going to the um, very high-powered companies in New York City, <clears throat> getting the names of the uh, CEOs, and they're going. And I'm going to read that to you in the next couple of days. And they are um, imitating them, and when they imitate them, right away, they are in orbs, and they're going to Mars. And um, I'll tell you the rest of this in a couple of days. And it's a very, very exciting book. You're going to love it. And it's going to be a blockbuster. And I know it's going to be a movie. It's called Invasion of the Dead. All right. So I'll see you again a couple more days from now. And uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this book. Bye-bye.